Are you an asset? 10 Keys to Being a Woman Who Brings More to the Table Than Her Appetite by April Mason. Read by April Mason. Introduction. Sitting in the audience at an award ceremony where 30 women were receiving awards for their outstanding achievements in their respective fields. As I sat there, I noticed something that became quite disturbing to me. One by one, each lady came up, accepted her award, and her acceptance speech went a little something like this. I'd like to thank God, my kids, friends, and family. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Hmm. Was it me or was something missing? Out of the 30 women, I noticed that only about five of them actually thank a spouse or significant other. As I looked around the room, filled with about 700 women, I asked myself, I wonder how many here are married. Better yet, I wonder how many of these powerful, successful business and career women are even dating. Now let's fast forward two years later. I was nominated and won the award for Entrepreneur Innovator at the same event. At that moment, It hit me. I am now in the same position as the women who receive this award prior to me. How ironic is that? I must admit, that was a hard pill to swallow. To be honest, I thought I had it all together. I thought I was an asset because of my list of accomplishments and my ability to be a strong woman. Isn't that what determines if I'll be a good mate or not? I decided that it was time to make some serious changes. For crying out loud, it wasn't like I was getting any younger. I pretty much put everything down for over 18 months to do some serious soul searching. During my time of isolation, I had to ask myself the real hard questions. It was time to figure out what I was doing wrong. I knew the only way to do that was to get down to who I am at my core and what I really wanted. Our society has constantly fed us images of powerful, strong women, but most of them are single. Think about it, from politics to entertainment and everything in between. So now you have troops of beautiful, powerful, successful, independent women who have been able to buy their own cars, have good credit, money in the bank, educated and manless. Congrats to you, girl for making it happen. Wait, I forgot to mention the little dogs. Oh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. The little dog that some women use as their companion instead of getting a man. Yeah, that dog. Now, before you get offended, let me make it clear. In no way, shape, form, or fashion am I saying that you should dumb down, not educate yourself, or secure financial wealth and material things. I'm all about empowering yourself and being self-sufficient. Yeah, I call it being self-sufficient and not independent. We'll discuss that a little later. Now, let me tell you what happened during my 18 plus months of isolation. Throughout my career, I have accomplished so many amazing things, graced stages all across the country, wrote books, made a good living for myself and my children, worked hard, and became the strong woman that I was trained to be. You see, I would have never guessed that my path would have taken me down this road. Once I started telling my story of how I started my first business, homeless, with three kids, living in a shelter, with $50 from a welfare check, how I overcame molestation, domestic violence, rape, and low self-esteem, I started getting calls from all across the country. I never set out for the world's definition of success. I never asked to be booked for events. I never sent out press kits. I never made phone calls pitching myself. People sought after me, and I was blessed in the process. However, one day something happened. Something on the inside of me clicked. Let me explain. 
I went through an awful breakup. That breakup opened up a part of me that I never knew was there. It was the core of who I am. It was my womanhood, my femininity. You see, even though the relationship ended on a bad note, it was the very thing I needed to realize that this part of me even existed. Sometimes what we believe is the worst thing that could have ever happened to us is actually the best thing that could have ever happened.